Okay, right now we're going to do CPR for an infant. Here's my infant, Nico. Okay, now I'm going to go over steps on what to do for CPR. Now, I'm going to use a dummy instead of my son. But we're going to go over the right steps in order to do the appropriate things. So for an infant, which is really serious, is when you see an infant that's not breathing and there's no circulation, first you assess, of course, you're looking at the infant, he's not crying, he's not, not making any noise, there's no color perfusion. You look at the child, right? You do a little rub, and if he's not crying like this, you have a problem. So continuing CPR with an infant. This is no longer my son, Nico. This is Elmo. But for Elmo, and for the purposes of doing CPR, let's consider it the same way. So we're going to look, listen, feel. So when we see an infant, we hold them in our hands. We have our hands like this underneath their head, cradling their head like so. Their body is on my forearm like this. Their legs are hanging over. Now, an infant, this is probably one of the most appropriate ways to do CPR. So as I'm doing it right now. So we're going to assess by look, listen, feel. So airway, breathing, circulation. Another way to do it is circulation and it's airway and then breathing. That's uh, the nuance. So look, listen, feel. I'm looking, I'm listening, I'm feeling if there's any rise or fall of the chest. Feel if there's any breathing. There's nothing. So what I'm doing is I want to check. So now I'm going to check for pulses. So with my son, he was fine, right? But this guy is not responsive. So what I want to do is feel for a brachial pulse. So you feel in where the bicep is right here. So you're feeling inside with your two fingers like so, feeling for a brachial pulse. Now their necks, baby's necks are so little, there's no necks. So you feel for that brachial. Now if you don't feel any type of pulse, you have a problem. You have to do CPR. So doing CPR, we're first going to do two rescue breaths. So we do two rescue breaths on the mouth. You want to cover the nose, you want to cover the mouth, and you want to breathe. One second in, be in between. Okay, so two rescue breaths. Now, when you do rescue breaths, do you use your full lung capacity? No, you don't. Got some elbow hair in my mouth. You do just little breaths that are in your mouth. So what's in your mouth? So you're only going to do what's in your mouth as a rescue breath. So like I said, two rescue breaths, like I just did. Then you do 30 compressions with two fingers in between the nipple line. Now, Elmo here doesn't show nipple lines, but in between the nipple lines, you're going to hold two fingers like so, and you're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Continue doing two rescue breaths with small breaths from your mouth, in their mouth, covering their nose in, in their mouth, and you just... Huh. Let it let the chest rise. Wait for the chest back to rise. Now you do five, right? Five cycles of 30 and 2. Call 911. Have somebody else call 911 if if they're there, right? Use your cell phone, use whatever phone. Wait until 911 reaches the scene, emergency services, and have them take the baby to the hospital. But basically, CPR for an infant, you hold them in your arms, cradle them. Look, listen, feel. You do, after you do that, you want to, you know, you check for a pulse. There's no pulse. You're going to start doing compressions, 30 to 2. Now you start with, my mistake, you start with two rescue breaths and you do 30 compressions. You do five cycles. And the compression depth is an inch and a half. It's one third of their, their capacity, their chest size, one third, so an inch and a half down. Okay, so thanks for watching. This is Firefighter Cap Rata. Join me next time and uh, we'll be going over more details and fire safety videos. Thanks for watching. Good job.